Handy Hudsonite here and today we're going to look at a clogged drain. I have a clogged drain here in my tub that I'll show you here in just a minute. If you have a drain that just is not uh, draining properly, whether it's your tub, whether it's your bathroom sink, kitchen sink, and you've tried a lot of different methods to get it to go down, whether that's using Drano, though you want to be careful with that because it's not great for the environment, or possibly you've used one of these, or possibly you've used one of these, which is great, works a lot of the time on some short clogs that aren't very far down since this is only about 18 inches long. Um, you can pick one of these up. Um, I'll have a link in the description for one of these or at a local hardware store. Or you could pick up this kit that I bought and it has saved me so many times with these clogged drains and really pesky clogs. I'm talking clogs that I couldn't even get with um, with a snake or anything and this just really enables you to um, get clogs that are deep within so that you can free up uh, your tub or your sink and for my case today it's a tub so I'm going to show you how this works and what this is is it's called clear drain and this is a uh, this is empty because I have it out uh, the parts out to show you but as you can see there, uh, clear drain. It comes with different parts. So it comes with uh, this plunger type thing and you can actually reverse it so that you can either have it facing like that if you've got a flat surface or what I've done before is you can put it in like that if you want to actually, if you have a drain that you can put it partially down into and which I might do in this drain today just to get it um, better force on it then you have this part up here and what goes in here is a co2 cartridge uh, which packs a lot of force because what this does is it penetrates this cartridge and i won't put it in yet it penetrates this cartridge um, so these handles are here so that you can push down and when you push down on this, it pierces that CO2 cartridges, cartridge and forces, um, just forces the air through here, down into your drain and forces that clog out. And then in, underneath the handle, there's a place, oh, this part right here, and I'll put this in right now. There's a place to put, uh, it's, it's like a little membrane and you put that in here. I think it's supposed to just um, help control the blast so it's not too strong of a blast for your pipes, especially if you have lightweight uh, PVC pipes. Um, so you just tighten that down, put this on the end. I still haven't decided whether I'm going to put this flush on there or put it down in. I might try it flush first, but you can buy these CO2 packs um, off Amazon or in any local hardware store. So what you do is you put it face down so the nipple part here is down like that. And then you screw this on. You want to make sure that you don't engage this before. You're just going to get a really strong blast of air out of here. And uh, for kitchen sinks especially, it comes with a drape. And you want to, what I do is actually duct tape this thing all the way around my drain if it's a bathroom or kitchen sink because it forces things up. It will just make a huge mess. It'll just back up. And that may happen to me when I do this. Hopefully it won't be too big of a mess, um, but it's just kind of hard to use that here on the tub. So let's look at the uh, drain here. Got my tub. It is filled. And uh, this normally would drain it, but as you can see, it's not doing anything. I'm going to put this right over that. And you want to make sure that it's filled with water when you're doing this. You don't want to have just air in the tub. You want to have it filled with water. If it is clogged, it'll stay clogged anyway. And then you want to make this as sure this is just right down over that. In fact, I might 
see about. So I might actually turn this around so that I can go down into the drain. I can just aim it down there better. Okay, here we go. Look at that. Well, I thought maybe it was going to drain. Huh. Well, as you can see from all the debris that we definitely had something come up. Okay, I have one more cartridge that we'll try. Okay, I just put another cartridge in. Let's see if this is going to help the drain. Oh, I can hear, I can hear draining. I think we may have removed the clog. It is draining now. Look at that. Looks like the clog has been removed. It's draining. Sometimes you want to, might want to wait a couple of minutes for the clog to move to pass through. As in the case of this, I thought I was going to have to give it a second blast, but it looks like it may have worked. Look at that. It drained, and we'll run the water a little bit to see if in fact it was, it's draining now. And that is draining perfectly. So as you can see, it really helped out. So as you can see that this, uh, so as you, as you can see, this clear drain definitely works. And it's one of the best, probably the best way I've found to clear drains around the house, around your apartment, wherever you might be. This really does get the job done. And in the comments below, let me know your experiences with clearing drains and maybe you have methods that work and tips on how to do it. I would love to learn from you on that. And again, I'll put a link in the description for where you can pick this up and I appreciate you watching. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you know when I put up videos and I will look forward to seeing you in the next video.